Hello, this is RC Rockin, and welcome back to World of Tanks. May have been posting a lot of War Thunder videos recently, or may have not. I know I've been recording a lot of War Thunder recently, but I haven't done much recording of World of Tanks, so this is just going to be my recording session of World of Tanks. And today I'm going to be playing a bit of um, my Tier 5 Heavy. My tier 5 premium heavy. And I don't have any other tier 5 heavies in my garage. Mainly because whenever I get a tank, I usually sell the one before it. Except for the Crusader, I really love the Crusader. And I don't know why I switched to my uh, tank destroyer. But here, let's switch this. Let's... What is it doing? Oh, look how beautiful that looks. And I might even play this. Who knows? Let's see... USSR... There we go. I can't believe I've actually gotten to the point where I actually need to sort my garage. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do some gameplay. You know, just get a video out there. And... Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Now if you're new to my channel, please click uh, at the end of my video, I will put an annotation that will either take you to my channel or be a subscribe. I do not know if the link will work. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the action. And I will see you there. Hello, and we're back. Now, this is a live commentary. I forgot to mention that. Now, I don't know what to really say about the Churchill here. I guess I'm really just saving stuff to talk about on the Churchill as uh, I go along. Just coming up with things on the move. Didn't really prepare anything, just wanted to do a quick video. So, I guess you could say Churchill is one of those what-if tanks. It was the only Russian heavy tank. No, there's two premium Russian heavy tanks. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, the IS-6 and the Churchill 3. Now, the Churchill 3 is a Churchill 1 with a 57mm gun. And look at the matchmake. Get, yeah. Look at the matchmaking this thing gets. Look how good that is. Alright. I am top tier heavy. You will see that a lot in this tank, trust me. And the matches are f often good, you know. It's tier 5, you get tier 5 matchmaking, so. Tier 5 players, and you know. Now, one of the reasons I actually got this tank was because it was a cheap premium tank, and I needed another premium tank. If I were to grind to my high tier tanks like the M48 Patton, which I have yet to get, I'm still grinding my way towards that and I need to get it. And I just, because you can't be doing videos and not have it. Okay, this Covenanter is going to really get it. Okay, notice how I'm angling my armor. I'm making it 70 degrees and over. Now you will have some trouble pinning certain things. But really all you gotta do in this tank is just keep the gun singing. Because all that damage stacks up. And look how much damage I've done to this KV. Holy crap, I destroyed him, didn't I? And that's really just how you gotta play this tank, how I feel. It's gotta be played. Now it's not known for its accuracy, so I don't recommend taking shots like this. Is that high explosive? <laughs> doesn't have too good frontal armor, but doesn't have bad frontal armor. I mean, it's decent frontal armor. Our west is a bit slow here, and this KV-1 just parks right in front of me. Now, 
Now, if you want to shoot this tank, don't shoot it on the bottom of a hole. Shoot it on the top of a turret. That's why they're getting a bit low health, so I'm going to go ahead and sit back. And this KV-1 does not know what side scraping actually means. Yeah. See if I can get another shot on these guys from forever. Lol wasn't using gold. Uh, I'm aiming for the weak point. If you aim for the bottom left corner of these T14s, they actually. There's like a little MG port that's only um, so thick. It's very good weak spot hit. And we've already won this game. So that was a rather quick game. And this is one of those tanks where you just want to get that gun firing and your armored angle. Or your armor angled. I wouldn't really, really rely on it more. Well, it's kind of hard to say. Sometimes the armor can be reliable, at the other times it can't be. It just depends on what you're going up against. If you can pen you, it's kind of a what if situation. And did that Electo just ram a T14? <laughs> oh, I really pissed off that Churchill, didn't I? That was pretty funny. That was really good. <laughs> so let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and look at the stats. Did 1,000 damage. It's always nice in tier 5 game. So yeah, this is only one of two Russian tanks. The IS-6 and the... Not Russian... Yeah. Is one of two Russian premium heavy tanks. The IS-6, which costs 11k gold and has a 122 D-30 gun. Which, you know, if you want to rate premium, no one's stopping you. But a Churchill is much cheaper and it can be a bit hard to make a lot of money in tier 5 premiums. One of the things I've noticed. So let's go ahead and also there's a reason I this thing I have a replay up where this thing is just hilarious. It's not this current version of the game, it's a version before, but um I'll leave a link to that replay in the description if you want to see it. Or if I can get the version working before this, maybe I'll even include that in the video. Who knows? So let's go ahead and get into another battle. Now I've been playing a lot of War Thunder recently, so I don't really know what's going on in World Tanks. But yeah. I kind of want to focus my World of Tanks videos around mid tiers, the tiers that everyone goes through when they're new to the game, need a bit of help, you know, or just starting off in the game, they understand the game. Or players like me, because I am, I'm an experienced player, but I just don't have the tanks of my experience. I mean, yeah, I got two tier nines, but those are from when I just started playing World of Tanks and ground up those lines. I still have a lot of World Tanks lines to grind up. I just started the British medium line again. I stopped grinding the medium line after the Crusader because I didn't want to give up the Crusader. I didn't have any premium vehicles at the time. And there are scouts bum rushing. Oh my god, kill them. Kill them. Oh dear. Oh dear. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. So when this happens, you want to keep moving, make it hard for them to hit. But one of the bright sides of this situation is they just lost two of their scouts. A 
and one of them's not fast enough to be a scout. <laughs> That's a, a lo often a lot of scouts do that. It's shit, a noob tactic. A lot of our team has gone down low. It's a bit worrying. Because no one has gone up here. So I'm wondering what our team is actually thinking. Is this guy in the M70 even thinking? Yeah, this doesn't seem like a very good game. Well, the good news is they've lost all of their useful scouts. And they seem to be, uh... What? I have never seen this before. The only time I've ever seen this was on the Xbox 360 edition. I'm... I am speechless. I am speechless. Um. Is this what World of Tanks is now? What happened to the good old days? Like last year. I've only been playing this game for a year, yeah. I forgot to mention that. But. Still very, um. Experienced. We've been playing it since last January. Not last January, that's this year. The, uh, year before is January. Let's see if I can see anything. Nah. Oh, heads up, I'm also going to be uh, posting a T34 1942 video for you War Thunder fans. So you want that. Go ahead, check out my channel, subscribe. I'll be posting it on the, let's see, it's the 17th, so I'll be posting it on the 18th, tomorrow. And go ahead, stick around for that one. I'm going to go ahead and go low here, because I do get a bit of protection from that area. So, weirdly enough, our scout has not found anything. And this game, seriously, what in the world is happening? No one even went near the traditional brawling spot. I should probably get a focus on these areas. And it looks like no one's up here. What a weird, what an odd game. I've never seen this. This is like the first time I've ever seen something like this. And honestly, I'm quite confused. Are you just bots? Yeah, this is something to, um... What? Add to the tags? This is definitely something. Oh... Shit. Right, I gotta go. It's either get in the cap and hopefully get her. Thank you, Crusader. Shout out to the Crusader for telling me that. I think I was spotted on by now. I have very good spot range in these tanks. What the hell? Okay. So, yeah. Thanks, Crusader. Told me false info. Okay, so there's a Wolverine to the side. Finally get a fire a shot. Oh, man, that shot. Come on. He's just hiding over the hill.
That was a pretty good shot. Um, right, we've lost this game. I don't even care. This is just sad. Put my gun turret over there. What the hell happened? <laughs> I don't understand what happened that game. I legitimately am dumbfounded by that game. That was, uh... Yeah. World of Tanks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do one more game because that was such a sad failure. Those suicide scouts just ruined that game. Everyone decided to camp, that's what happened. Hmm, do they have new slack to those tracks? Yeah, probably not. Alright. Put our rate the fire to the traditional heavy tank spot. Now one of the good things about this tank is probably the fact that you can just pump shot after shot into the M&E tank. Yeah, M&E tank. Am I saying this wrong? I might. Ju it might be just me being a bit sick. Enemy tanks. There we go. So you just pump shots. Shot after shot into the enemy tanks. And what? Yeah, don't push me. If you ever see me in a game, you can say hi and all that, but don't push me. I will just stop. <laughs> That's what I do whenever someone pushes me, I just stop. Because they're just slowing themselves down. Especially Ali. This tank can only go 30 miles per hour. Or not miles per hour, kilometers per hour. Pardon my English. Or not my English, my American there. Yeah, feels good to be recording again. Recently I haven't been recording much because I'm so sick, but... I'm not any... I'm not as sick anymore, I'm just stuffy. That's all it is. I can record. Oh, in this tank you want to aim for weak spots. And oh, whoa! 275, nice shot, Artie. This M3 Lee doesn't understand that he has almost no gun. Oh, interesting thing about me and the M Freely. I absolutely hated M Freely. It was my first tier four. Ironically, I was very good and did about. I'd say. Come on. Test my rate of fire. Come on. See what you got. That's right. Get back there. Come on. Come on. Artillery, you ain't getting me. And whoa, look at that teamwork. Ah. Freaking accuracy, get him. Get Zim. Alright, I wanna go ahead and go around this rock. I can't wait anymore. Kill Zim. Oh my god. RNG, thank you. There you go, I think the M3 Lee's got him. Oh no, I already got him. Oh, shit. Oh dear. Turn around, turn around. The tank's gotta 
T49 behind it. <laughs> Turn around, use a rate of fire, I can see it in me. Come on! Oh, and he knows, he knows, look at him run, look at him run! Oh dear, I'm gonna go ahead and press a bit of F7 here. Because I am vulnerable on all flanks here. Yeah, that Hetzer's got to be careful. Come on. Ah. Alright, he's down. Hetzer's going after the KV-1. Now I'm on one shot, so I need to be careful. I need to stay back here. And I think no one's coming up this way, I know that. And oh, we've already won. <laughs> it's a good team, good game. And oh, hello. Ah! Bastard. Who is the Butilda? Hello there. Good job there. Did not expect um, him to be right there, but why he was hiding the entire game as to I am completely clueless on why he would hide. Look at this VKH. <laughs> what a soldier. Look at him. He's angling his armor even though he knows. He's just trying to get behind the nearest rock. Okay, so there we go. Stug and oh, slow mo miss. Come on, sh VK. He's letting the VK get Top Gun. You shouldn't let someone get Top Gun. I mean, come on. GG. And I got a mastery free. I think I've already got my mastery on this though, so it doesn't matter that much. Alright, so I'm going to call that there for this video. Um... If you watched it at this point, I hope you have enjoyed the video. And if you did, please do click the link to send the top left and or top right of the screen. They will take you to my channel and one will subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching. And click those links if you want more. Or if you want to see the uh, 1942 uh, T-34 video, I would I'm posting that tomorrow and just click the link and you'll see it on your subscriptions page. Thank you for watching.